Analytical Research Definition, Examples, and Methods of Conducting Analytical Research In this video, you will learn What is analytical research? Examples of analytical research Methods of conducting analytical research What is analytical research? Analytical research includes critical assessment and critical thinking. It creates new ideas about the data and proves or disproves the hypothesis. If the question comes of what analytical research is used for, it can be said that it is used to create an association between exposure and the outcome. This association is based on two types of analytical research design. The first is cohort studies, and the second is a case control study. In cohort studies, people of different groups, with different levels of exposure, are observed over time to analyze the occurrence of an outcome. It is a forward direction and perspective kind of study. It is easier to determine the outcome risk among unexposed and exposed groups. Examples of analytical research. Example 1. It can investigate why the value of the British pound has decreased. This allows an analytical study to explore the how and why questions. Example 2. Someone might conduct analytical research to identify a study's gap. It presents a fresh perspective on your data. Therefore, it aids in supporting or refuting notions. Methods of conducting analytical research. It can be conducted using the following methods. Literary research. Meta-analysis research. Scientific trials. Let's look at each method in detail. Literary research. Literary research is one of the methods of conducting analytical research. It means finding new ideas and concepts from already existing literary work. It requires you to invent something new, a new way of interpreting the already available information to discuss it. It is the backbone of various research studies. Its function is to find out all the literary information, preserve them with different methodologies, and analyze them. It provides hypotheses in the already existing research and also helps in analyzing modern day research. It helps in analyzing unsolved or doubtful theories. Meta analysis research. Meta analysis is an epidemiological, formal, and quantitative research design that helps in the systematic assessment of previous research results to develop a conclusion about the body of research. It is a subset of systematic reviews. It analyzes the strength of the evidence. It helps in examining the variability or heterogeneity. It includes a quantitative review of the body of literature. It is PRISMA and its aim is to identify the existence of effects, finding the negative and positive kinds of effects. Its results can improve the accuracy of the estimates of effects. Scientific trials. Scientific trials research is conducted on people. It is of two types, observational studies, and the second is clinical traits. It finds new possibilities for clinical traits. It aims to find out medical strategies. It also helps in determining whether medical treatment and devices are safe at not. It searches for a better way of treating, diagnosing, screening, and treatment of the disease. It is a scientific study that involves four stages. It is conducted to find if a new treatment method is safe, effective, and efficient in people or not. It aims to examine or analyze surgical, medical, and behavioral interventions. There are different types of scientific trials, such as cohort studies, case control studies, treatment trials, cross-sectional studies, screening trials, pilot trials, 
prevention trials, etc. Conclusion Analytical research is a type of research that makes use of existing data to extract insights. Its primary objective is to break down a topic or concept into smaller components to better understand it and then reassemble those components in a way that is easy to comprehend. You can carry out analytical research by applying the methods discussed in this video, which often involves ex-ante research, meaning the analysis of phenomena. There are various forms of analytical research, such as historical research, philosophical research, research synthesis, and reviews. It also aims to understand the causal relationships between phenomena, typically working with a limited set of variables and requiring detailed research and analysis of the available data. This type of research is essential because it adds relevance to data, making it more reliable and supporting the validation of hypotheses. It helps companies make quick, informed decisions about their products and services. Thank you.